Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Well, an attempted robbery in Roseville turned deadly after police say the victim shot the suspect. This happened at the Wash Point car wash on Gratiot near Frazo around 7 last night, all while the victim was washing his car. Now, police say the man was approached by two armed suspects who tried to rob him, but the victim was also armed. He were told he exchanged gunfire with one of the suspects. One of the alleged robbers was hit in the head and pronounced dead there at the scene. Oh, this morning, Adrian College is dealing with an outbreak of COVID-19. The college has reported a total of 152 cases. 139 of those cases are still active. The return to campus is blamed for an increase in coronavirus cases among 18 to 24 year olds in Lenaway County. The health department is working with Adrian College and nearby Siena Heights University to address this issue. Siena Heights currently has two coronavirus cases. Well, the president's daughter and advisor, Ivanka Trump, is coming to Metro Detroit today. Ivanka will be visiting the Technical Learning University at the Global Tech Center campus in Warren. She's going to be joined by GM CEO Mary Barra, who will lead the tour, highlighting GM's commitment to continue training for hourly skilled trade workers and salaried manufacturing engineers. It's not a bad idea to grab an umbrella going out the door this morning. A lot of the rain or all the rain so far, though, has stayed east of Detroit over Ontario and Lake St. Clair and Lake Erie, and that's tracking northeast. Not much activity elsewhere, so there's a low chance of a passing shower this morning. Slightly higher chance of a shower between about noon and 2 p.m., then we'll be dry the rest of the day. But uh, through noon, we're up to 78 degrees by then. Highs are going to be in the lower to mid 80s today, 83 degrees, but the humidity is going to be dropping after 2 p.m. So 83 today, 85 tomorrow, and then look at Friday through Labor Day weekend. Highs back down into the 70s. We do gradually warm back up to 79 degrees Sunday, but it's going to be a real comfortable, real nice Labor Day weekend with lows in the 50s and highs in the 70s. By the way, the average high temperature is 79 degrees. We'll likely have below average temperatures Monday and Tuesday next week. These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News.